I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning into my classic car, home of the certified car nut. Well, this week we're on a Jay Leno shop again. I love this. You know, Jay and I have become good friends over the years, and it's always good to see what, what he's got going. What do you mean he's at the gate? Tell him I'm not here. Hey, Dennis. <laughs> Jay. Hey, Jay, good to Jay. see you. <laughs> good, good, good. What's up? Well, you know, I you know, I was just in a neighborhood. I yeah, by, yeah. Well, it's always know. good to have you. We love having you come by when I'm busy working on something. <laughs> Well, it's the best time to catch you, man. Yeah, You're always yeah. working on something cool. Well, this is kind of cool. You know, gas prices are going crazy. Uh, Hemi's, that stuff's nice, but it's ex expensive to drive around. I was trying to find the thriftiest, smallest, most fuel-efficient sports car I could find and still have fun. And uh, I think I found it. The Honda S600. Yeah, this is sort of the grandfather of the uh, S2000. You know, if you oh, look yeah, at the yeah. modern S2000, you can see a lot of the styling cues were taken from this car. This was Honda's first uh, production sports car. They were not brought to the United States because they were just considered too small. Um, it's 600 cc's. But was it know, underpowered? Because I mean, that, that no, is a no, tiny it, engine. It was 57 horsepower. It weighs 1,500 pounds. Is it a motorcycle engine, basically? No, no. It's a, it was built specifically as an automobile. Let me show you the motor. You'll get a kick out of this thing. Like I said. Twin cam, roller bearing crank. If this said Porsche on it, it would be a million dollars. Yeah. I mean, that's what the Porsche was. The Porsche was a roller bearing crank and it had high revs. And uh, this is completely stopped, with the exception of the carburetors. I have a little more modern carburation on it. But other than that, it's exactly as it would have left the factory. Plus, it has something unique. You have chain drive to the rear wheels. You have a drive shaft, which goes through differential, which goes out. And then you have uh, two chains that go to the rear wheel, giving you a kind of interesting form of independent suspension. Yeah. Can you actually see the chain cases or not? Uh, you or, can see the chain or cases. Are they pretty, pretty enclosed? No, if, you get, uh, if, you get, if you get down. Yeah, I mean, these, you know, these cameramen don't move for less than a, <laughs> a thousand bucks a minute. So if you can get a cameraman just, to get just, on his knees, good just, luck. Just peel it out, you know? <laughs> yeah. I see him there. Yeah, can you see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. on each side. You know, it was a really fully equipped sports car for the period. You had a wooden steering wheel, you had a tack, you had a four-speed gearbox. The engine is so tiny and so light, there's hardly any flywheel effect. You just turn the key and it goes, boom. And I love the sound, I mean, oh, yeah. it's got, a, it's a, you know, it actually has sort of a baby flow master sound. Well, you know, it's kind of like one of those little dogs that's no threat, but it goes, <laughs> 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 that's, that's what it is, it's like one of those little dogs, you just laugh at it, but it, it sounds so vicious. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, the valves look like golf tees. It's a, it's a, you know, <laughs> well, the, I mean, the pistons can't be. It's an actual engine you can take, and while you're having dinner with your wife, you can work at it at the dining room table. <laughs> I mean, all right, a lot of wives might not go for that, but... I mean, if you if, pick if, the right woman. Yeah, if you find the right woman, you can do that, believe me. You can actually <laughs> have it at the dinner table. Mm, honey, you know, so that's, that's what's kind of neat about it. Did you hand me that spanner? Uh, you know, to me, it's always so much more fun to drive a slow car quickly because, you know, a fast car, we, it's easy to drive fast. You just have, you know, to make this handle and go around corners. And it makes just terrific noises. Well, I mean, you're you're just, downshifting oh, yeah, nine, nine, with your, with your left hand. 95 RPM always sounds good. So, so this, is a, this is a blast to drive and everything. Is this one we can take out? Come on, let's take it out. All right, man. Welcome back to My Classic Car. you're screaming along and then you look over and there's like a girl putting lipstick on in a Toyota Camry. You know, and you go, oh, I guess I'm not going that fast. It sure sounds good though. Yeah, but it sounds good. Sounds great. And that's, you know, cars should be fun. If it's not going to be fast, it ought to be fun. And it's quite weather tight when you have the roof up and the windows and up. roll up windows. That's oh, amazing. Roll up windows. That was a big deal in 64. Wait 
time for the camera car to catch up that Queenie Shelby Mustang yeah. camera car. We'll let Dennis take it for a ride up here. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, we're working. See you guys later. Handle bad, does it? Oh, it's tight. I, I love it. And it's very stiff suspension. I can see why you take this one out a lot, though. The sound is addicting. It's a lot of fun. It's great for short trips and hops around. There's a whole Japanese classic car movement starting now. You can take it right to nine grand. Still ahead, we'll check out Jay's rotary-powered NSU Spider. Okay, but suppose you're saying, look, 600 cc's, 57 horsepower, that's too much for me. Kind of beefy. Yeah, you got anything smaller? We got something smaller. Man, you're, what a nice car. It's zippy, very you know, powerful. It is zippy, it yeah. is fast, but you know, there are a lot of guys that can't handle 57 well, horsepower. 600 fast, cc's, whoo, please, I got a <laughs> wife and kids. Well, here's something even smaller. This is the... Uh, NSU Spider. What this, year? This is a 1966 Wankel engine. It is the first rotary engine car ever built. Uh, people think Mazda invented the rotary. They didn't. The Germans invented the rotary, but it took the uh, Japanese to perfect it. There's a very famous story about uh, early rotary engines, the seals not lasting very mm -hmm. long. And the Japanese bought the patent rights from Felix Wankel from the Germans, determined to get it to work. And the guy was sitting there with his pencil, you know, the, one of those apocryphal tales and the lead and the pencil, oh lead, lead seals, let's try lead. And that's what they did and consequently they came out with the, the twin, the, the uh, Mazda Cosmo is the first twin rotor, yeah, this yeah. is the first Wankel engine ever. Uh, but let's explain what a Wankel engine is yes, for people who don't I've know. I've always been mystified by those, Jay. Okay, this is, uh, here's a cutaway of a Wankel engine right here. Um, here's your combustion chamber here. As it comes around it goes bang, it's, you know, it fires and spins this and keeps this spinning over and over again. And you have the exhaust port on one side, your, your plug there, your exhaust port on one side, intake on the other. The great advantage is extremely lightweight, mm -hmm. high revving, smooth. Remember when we were kids, there was that Mazda, and a Mazda engine goes, mm -hmm. yeah, that whole deal, yeah. <laughs> yeah there was, I like that one, and the, uh, what was the, uh, the Comet, 100,000 miles at 100 miles an hour. Mm. Yeah, those that was another classic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You had to grow up then. Why do people listen to the Beatles? I was listening to that. But, Commercials, but, right? But uh, <laughs> enough about that. Let's get back to, let's uh, get back to the Let's the get back wankers. to the spider. Let's push this out so you get a better look at it. Well, that's not too hard to do, is it? No, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. Very lightweight car. Uh, now, let's find the engine. Well, I would start with the front. All right, let's open the front. That's where engines usually are. It's always a good place for an engine. Mm -hmm. mm, not there. Yeah. That actually looks lot like a Volkswagen, doesn't it? All right, it? let's look in the back. All right. That would be the next logical spot. And it doesn't mm. appear to be there either. <laughs> Under the seat. No. Uh, <laughs> but, but wait. Must look close, Grasshopper. <laughs> ah, this yeah. is a great advantage to a Wankel engine. Extremely compact. Fits right under there. It's under the trunk floor. A lot of interesting engineering here, much like a Volkswagen, your engine's hanging out over the rear wheels, over the rear axles. Uh, pretty well appointed car. Uh, you know, you got the Europa radio. Uh, we added the water temperature gauge. That's not stock. And it was not a cheap car. This car is about $3,100, something like that. So. In, in what year? What year is this? 64? 66. 66? So, the idea behind this wasn't necessarily to make money. They built these cars to sell the technology. NSU built this car to go, look, here's what we can do. It gets pretty good gas mileage, extremely smooth. It's the equivalent of about 500 cc's, but it goes uh, just about 100 miles an hour. Wow. And extremely smooth and revs all day long. I mean, you, they, 
limit the revs to about six grand. Yeah. It'll rev to 10, but you just eat up your seal. So, right. but you, you find yourself driving, oh, see, it just, just it, it's really smooth. And it's kind of a fun little car to drive. Now, gear shift, handbrake, what's the other little lever there? Uh, that down below is a choke. It's just an odd yeah, it is. little car, but it has a lot of quality features in it. Well, it's a great looking car. But, but it, it is. Well, it, it looks sort of, people think it's an Amphi car. It does have that kind yeah, of, doesn't yeah. it? You know, and you know, it's not a car that you could really exhibit any appreciable road rage. <laughs> hey, buddy! Hey! You know, <laughs> look at the car. Yeah, right. Hey, oh, right. hey I got <laughs> You know, so it, it just kind of makes you smile. You, you know, it's, you really can't get angry at anybody driving one of these things. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Okay, you've solved my horsepower problem. I feel mm -hmm. safer at only 500 cc's right, and 50 right. horsepower now. But I've got, I got a wife and two kids. Well, then you want to move up a little bit. You want to move up into what I call the big car field. This here <laughs> is a Fiat Millicento, 1100 cc's. This was a, uh, quite a pivotal car in Italian uh, history. If you were an Italian businessman and you were a middle class guy, maybe a little better than middle class, you could take your whole family. It had four seats or five seats. It was comfortable. It had a heater. It had all the uh, options. It was a nice sized car for the European road. This is yeah. about a middle sized car. It wasn't tiny. What year? Uh, this is a 59. This car was designed by uh, Dante Giancosa, who did the, uh, the Topolino. Topolino. And yeah. when this car came out, uh, Enzo Ferrari sent him a telegram saying it was the best handling uh, sedan he'd ever seen. They did a lot of racing. Most of your race cars from uh, the 50s are, are based on this, this uh, powertrain, this 1100cc engine, this floor plan, this gear shift, this transmission. You're so, kidding. No, they're pretty neat. They're, they're very quick. And they're so a is it, it's an inline four? Yeah, it's a regular four cylinder, just like you'd expect from Fiat. Wow. As that's you your, can see, there it is right basic, there. Basic little Fiat, isn't it? Uh, just get yourself a good motorcycle battery. <laughs> that's all it takes. And wonderful car to drive. Like I say, 40 miles per gallon. You know, it, it revs, it drives nicely. This is, the, is this a steering box? <laughs> no, that is your, what, uh, is oh, that, that is a steering box. That yeah. is the weirdest. Look at that. That is the stra strangest setup I think I've ever seen. Go ahead and close it up, Jay. Let's, uh, let's take this one around the block. All right. Angelo, Vincenzo, get in the car. <laughs> You never seen that? Oh, most most seen Europeans it. are that way. Saab is that way. This Alfa Romeo had four in the tree. It's really, it is quiet compared to the Honda. <laughs> you got a manly horn. Manly, manly horn. Being enthusiasts, we always tend to think of cars as being for enthusiastic purposes, but most people just wanted them to drive. Yeah. And the column shift really made it easier to drive the car. I'm going to let Dennis take the wheel now. I just want to warn Dennis, this is not 600 cc's, <laughs> this is 1100 cc's, I'm, so just... I'm a trained professional, just Jay. Just try to I'm, keep your, I'm, put the emergency brake on. Curb my enthusiasm here. Let's see what this baby can do. All right, here goes, 1100. Take it easy. 1100 cc's. H pattern back here, right? Up, up the steps. Up the steps, okay. Here we go, 1100 cc's. Unchained. And this was probably a, you know, a very popular car over there? Very popular car. This would have been the family car. This came in a wagon derivative. It came in all. This would have been the workhouse. The, the workhorse, rather. This would have been the workhorse car. Oh, you know, you're right. These cars are cute. They got a lot of character. You know, I always say, if you can't get a car that's rare, get one that has a personality and that's fun. There's all kinds of ways to get into this car collecting hobby. And when I take this to a car show, people love it. They come over and they ask about it. And like you say, you get 40 miles per gallon. And it can be an interesting alternative to buying a hybrid, you know? Yeah. You spend 30 grand for a hybrid, or you could buy this, have some fun with it. Your insurance rates are lower. Uh, you get 40 miles per gallon, and you can work on it yourself, so. The best of all worlds. There can, you go. can we burn up a little bit more of that 40 miles per yeah, gallon? Yeah, yeah, it's 40 miles per gallon. Hey, Whee! Let's go, hey! <laughs> So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage with Jay Leno. Happy motoring. <laughs>